and this is a uh, Grand Hyatt Doha and this is a um, I don't know uh, probably one bedroom suite 419 and I um, decided to come here late last night um, because I was having a um, long labor here in Doha and I hadn't been to this hotel before so here we have a um, first when we come in we have a guest toilet I'm currently with a PDA on the um, on the right hand side and this is the uh, this is the living room, living room area as you can see so we have a nice sofa thing work desk there um, and I got my diamond amenity which was a little bit surprising they actually have red wine there because uh, this is um, the holy month of Ramadan and um, they are not supposed to, supposed to even sell alcohol to get the room service but I guess that lemon amenity is fine and then we have some fruits and uh, as we are, are in somewhere in Arabia so we have dates as well and uh, as long as we have a, one of these fancy fancy coffee machines suppose that they have lavazza here and not a uh, espresso one and uh, it seems that they have one of these um, automatic, also does say automated mini bars. So <laughs> don't test any of these unless you're really going to consume them or you're going to have a headache. Headache when checking out. So we have a few minis there, as we have a few couple of uh, boom base of minis there. We have some other stuff here as well. And here's the, uh, let's see, here we have the teas and the and the packets for the uh, Lavazza machine. Overall, this living room is is quite nice. So of course we have free water as well. And let's walk to the uh, let's walk to the bedroom. It's about the same size as the living room, but we have the uh, bathroom there as well. So there's the TV, the bed, and we have one one chair here as well. And the bedroom is very comfortable. I was so tired last night. I got here like 1.30 a.m. But I couldn't sleep before 4. So, a bit weird experience. Um, and here's the bathroom. So we have a bathtub. Um, and here's the sink area. And I was a bit surprised that they didn't have the um, um, a shaming kit and dental kit by default. But for sure you can actually you can request those. But I would, I would prefer having them actually a well book without having to request, which does going to take some time. Oh, this is actually the weirdest looking um, shower that I have I have seen in my life. Uh, the rainforest head. It looks like a star or some kind of, uh, uh, how to say, uh, web of mass distraction in a science fiction movie. Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure it's only a, a, a shower here. And uh, this is kind of funny, they have their, they, they have this pure line and then they have the June Trey Group's um, conditioner which is actually the new uh, new brand standard for at least for the Grand Hyatt's and maybe some regular Hyatt's internationally as well as well, as well. but I, I don't like the design of that bottle, uh, not very, not very sophistic sophisticated to say the least um, and here's of course another toilet and a bidet so this was the bathroom and then of course we have some some closet space here as well so the usual bathrobe and a ironing kit there and this is actually quite nice uh, i don't do yoga i probably should do yoga but they have a uh, yoga mat on this suite by by default and here's one more closet oh. Oh, and here's actually a, uh, it's a safe thing. Um, and here we have another, oh, actually we have the uh, dog for iPod. For iPhone, no, actually that's this iPod. But it's probably works on the uh, iPhones as well. Um, but actually the, one of the best parts of this suite is that you actually have a wonderful, wonderful outside patio over here. Um, it's about 40 Celsius here outside. And as you can see, it's very humid. Um, so this one is now, yeah, I can, I can hardly see anything through my, through my eyeglasses either. But, um, so here, here we, we do have a, a, um, couple of chairs. 
Okay, let's go inside, so... Let's do him it outside. Let's see if this works now or not, let's see. So we have the uh, two chairs as well, and there's, um, there's, there's one more civil area and there's a couple of lamps too. So it looks really nice. Um, unfortunately, I cannot really take a picture there. And here you see some of the common grounds outside. So overall, really nice. So this was the uh, Granahead Doha, and this was a suite 419.